Well, Amrit Singh is a senior legal officer with the Open Justice Initiative and author of the report, and she joins us now live from uh, New York. Amrit, good to have you with us. Uh, the, the report talks of countries like Pakistan and Afghanistan, which uh, we have, we've known to have used torture and, and secret pres uh, prisons, but also countries like Ireland and Canada and, and many countries in, the, in Europe. Do you think you've got to the bottom of the full extent of the involvement? Um, I, I think that um, there is a continuum of involvement uh, by each of these governments. Some of them, like Poland, Romania, Lithuania, hosted secret CIA prisons. Others supplied intelligence that led to the capture of prisoners. Others captured prisoners and detained them and tortured them. So there really is um, a wide variety of, uh, of uh, complicity. And uh, what we've put in this report is what we've been able to glean so far. There may well be still more t that needs to be disclose. In fact, the report acknowledges that it is time for these governments to come up, come forward to, to um, own up to the truth and take responsibility. And what's interesting for me was that even countries that don't have friendly, friendly relations with the US, and in some cases not even diplomatic relations, are also involved, like Iran and Syria. That's correct. It just it uh, speaks to the sweep and scale of the CIA's program, certainly. Now, uh, the, the new CIA chief, John Brennan, is, uh, has said in the past that he regards rendition as absolutely vital in countering terrorism. What do you make of the, the justification that this was a vital tool for national security? Well, I think that John Brennan has some serious... Uh, uh, questions to answer. That claim uh, in December of 2005 that he made uh, really compels uh, the Senate to ask him some questions about what he meant by it when he said um, that rendition was a vital tool in combating terrorism. Because by the time that Brennan made that statement, Mahir Arar had been rendered to Syria and uh, locked up in a tiny grave-like -li cell for days and beaten with cables. By the time Brennan made that statement, Emma the Giza and Mohammed al Zari had been sent to Egypt and subjected to electric shocks. So what did he mean by that? I think there are some answers there that are needed. And of course Barack Obama has, said, uh, has officially ended the practice of extraordinary renditions, uh, what he called outsourcing torture to other countries. Do you accept those assurances? Well, I think the, the short answer is that we don't know what the United States' policy on rendition is. That is, uh, what its policy on transfers for purposes of detention and interrogation is. Um, we, uh, we know that President Obama disavowed torture in January of 2009, and he co closed CIA secret detention sites. But uh, he did not specifically disavow rendition in, in his January 2009 executive order. Uh, so the, the administration really needs to come forward and explain what are its policies because um, an interagency task force report that uh, the executive order specifically required was uh, produced in August of 2009, but that report continues to be withheld from the public. Um, that report needs to be released and the, the administration needs to explain to the public how is it uh, um, in, incorporating the, the recommendations of that report. And very briefly, Amrit, because we are running out of time, uh, do you think we're going to see any criminal investigations or any legal uh, action as a result of this report? Well, it's unclear. It's notable, and it's noted in the report, that Italy has um, uh, convicted U.S. and Italian officials for their role in the extraordinary rendition of Egyptian national known as Abu Omar. Um, it's our hope that there will be other criminal convictions that governments around the world who are complicit in this illegal program will take responsibility and will hold their officials accountable.